here at the Giga Ohm Roadmap. So, what are you wearing there? So this is the Nike Plus Fuel Band. So how many has been sold? Is that secret? Many, many. Millions? We've thousands. sold many. We're Hundreds very happy with the sales. So how long is the battery life? So this one I wear usually lasts me seven days uh, on one charge. And I think it depends a little bit on how active you are. But mine goes for about a week. So what do you do? So it just tracks your everyday activity, regardless of what you do. So sometimes I'll go for a run, sometimes I'm just active, sometimes I'm in the office not so active. And the great thing is that the band has the ability to track that and see, depending on what you do, how active you are. And then give, give you a little reminder of when you're not active as well. So uh, what do you do at Nike? So I run a group called Digital Sport, and uh, our task is to figure out smart ways to use technology to help athletes get better. So it uh, started uh, six years ago in the shoes, right? Nike or? Plus running launched six years ago, yeah, in a partnership with Apple. So um, is there an ARM processor in there? Because my website is about ARM. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Really? Uh, That's... Yeah, the armdevices.net. Mm -hmm. uh, what is this one? Interesting. This is our GPS watch. So. Uh, this one has, uh, we use this one for running, so you can set up your, um, yeah, with, it has a built-in USB connector, so this one plugs straight in to your computer, tracks how far you run, how fast you run, uh, and hooks it up with NikePass.com where you get tons of more information and the ability to connect with friends as well. Wouldn't it be a good idea if there was some kind of partnership between uh, this system and uh, McDonald's or something so people can like uh, have both? Or, we're you know, we're like focusing on sports. We're trying to help yeah. people to get more active. That's our task. And, and then these devices have been amazing for that. That's, I mean, that's really important in society, right? People need to get healthy. Yeah, I think our, our whole ambition is to inspire people to move more and do more. I think that at the end of the day, sport is very individual. But if we can bring out devices that help people be more active, then that's fantastic. What do you think about Google Glass? Uh, I don't know enough about to comment on it. You know, I think that all innovation that's trying to solve solve new problems is is welcome. So this communicates Bluetooth with mm -hmm. the smartphone, right. Android, iOS, iOS. Only iOS. Only oh, iOS. No Android. Yeah. yeah, no Android at the moment. It could be. It could come. Did you announce anything about support later? No. At the moment, we're happy with iOS. Yeah, it right. works really well. How heavy is it? It's super light. Super light. Yeah, it's just right. a few grams. Very cool. Yeah. And you can, it's transparent, you have different colors. Yeah, these are transparent. This is the new black eyes that just came out, came out in a white eyes as well. So we, uh, we've got, we're excited about the response for the new bands. How much did it cost? $149. $149. Worldwide, available, every country? No, uh, at the moment it's in the US and the UK. Okay, so not in Sweden, not in Denmark? Not yet, not yet. But it's, it's coming. Uh, hopefully coming soon. We're incredibly happy with the response and a lot of people react and resonate to it. But at the time, it wasn't all that obvious. So I think you put something out there when your desire is to sort of help people get better regardless of what that is. Uh, we put it out there and it works and the response is phenomenal. And what's amazing is, for those of you that don't know how it works, is you, you simply set yourself a daily goal, the band tracks it for you and it reports it back. You're going from red to green. When you hit green, you hit your goal and it talks wirelessly, uh, Bluetooth, with your phone. The, 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 if, you, if, you, if you think about sports and how much data has been in sports, it's usually been in pro sports. And here we are, so many people being active every day, and, and we just got to find simpler ways of harnessing all that activity information and playing it back in an easy way so it's mo motivation, motivational and inspiring for you. And I think that whole, whole world of, of almost democratizing sports data is, is a tremendous opportunity to, to just create a more active uh, and informed uh, sport community around the world.